Alright, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. Now besides just selling the juicers, DiscountJuicers.com also offers appliances that allows you to get more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables into your diet, such as the one I'm going to talk about today. What I have here in front of me are what are called spiral slicers. These particularly are known as the 3-in-1 turning slicer, formerly known as the spiruli. Now the problem we have here today is that I've recently learned that there are actually counterfeit 3-in-1 turning slicers that are now appearing on the market. Other companies, other websites may be offering these cheap imitation models that are not the same high quality units as the original 3-in-1 turning slicer we offer at DiscountJuicers.com. In front of me here I have four different turning slicers and guess what only one is the original and there are three knockoffs so in this video what I intend to show you guys is actually the differences between the knockoff and the real one so that you'll know for sure you're gonna get the right one the first time and know how to identify the counterfeits and to know why you shouldn't you know buy the counterfeit and some of the problems that may arise with it so uh... Let's go ahead and first uh, show with you guys the real one. All right, is the real one this one? Yes or no? What do you think? We're taking bets here. Uh, is the real one this one? Might be. Is the real one this one? Who knows? Is the real one that one? Hmm, not too sure. Well, if you said the real one's this one, you'd absolutely be right. This is a legitimate three-in-one turning slicer. The others are all counterfeits. And uh, let's go one by one and share with you guys the counterfeits and some of the problems they've actually been having. So one of the ways you'll know the machine is a counterfeit or not is actually by looking at the machine. The real machine here is actually a nice white plastic. It's actually fairly white. If you look at this other one closely, it's kind of white, but it has like a blue tinge to it. Maybe a gray tinge, depending if you're colorblind or not. The other thing I want to point out on the counterfeit unit is you can see here there's like some duct tape on here. One of the common problems that happens actually with all these counterfeit units is that the handle breaks so they've actually had to tape it and that's what they've done actually on this unit. And on this unit here the handle actually just broke off and they don't even have a handle on it now. And finally on this unit here they once again have some duct tape on here. So this unit, because of the inferior plastic, the inferior, you know, uh, screws and all this kind of stuff, it is more prone to breaking. So what fun is it to buy an appliance and then have it to break? You know, I mean, if you're paying less money, there's a reason why you're paying less for it. And, you know, generally, remember, you guys get what you pay for. So buy the real unit at DiscountJuicers.com to be assured you're going to get the right original 3-in-1 turning slicer that's going to work for you for many years. Uh, another way you can tell if it's uh, original or fake is uh, look at the little bottom here and uh, if you see the screws on the bottom on the knockoffs are actually rusting. <laughs> the screws on the original one are not rusting so this is more prone to rust. That's not too good in my opinion. Now these 3-in-1 turning slicers actually have three different unique style cuts and you have uh, one blade stored in the machine itself and two blades down below. Now when you get the knockoff, let me show you guys what happens. You just tip the unit up and instead of the uh, blades locking into place like they should, they fall out. And that's you know just, just the quality. The, the knockoffs are not as high of quality. Say we go over here to the real one, right? We turn this down, it doesn't fall off. They're actually in place and really stable. The next thing I want to do is actually share with you guys the different blades on the machine. Now there are, are three different blades. We got one blade installed in the machine. This is actually known as the three millimeter slicing blade. It'll make little noodle-like shapes out of things like zucchini and English cucumbers. Now the three millimeter shape is kind of like the size I would equate to making a standard spaghetti pasta noodle. There are other spiral slices that make like a 1.5 millimeter uh, noodle out of zucchini and once again this is used uncooked and raw so you literally just take a fresh zucchini 
slice it up, it makes it into these long noodles that you can then make like a marinara sauce and I recommend using a blender with some sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes and some Italian seasoning, maybe some peppers in there to make a delicious sauce to pour over your zucchini noodles that are made with the three-in-one turning slicer. So this is the three millimeter cut. In addition, you get two more blades that are easily stored in here that we're gonna go ahead and uh, just slide out there. You get the standard spiral cut. So the spiral cut is really good for making things like uh, spiral discs out of things like English cucumbers, even zucchinis, things like that. You could actually do apples in this as well. It's just gonna make standard slices and kind of like curly cues is what I like to say, or a long ribbon. Uh, it's great to do this out of beef. It can turn into a nice little ribbon that can be an excellent garnish for garnishing things like salads. Uh, besides that blade, there's the final blade here that we're going to go ahead and pull out. And I like that these, uh, you know, store in there for easy and uh, convenient use. This is the six millimeter blade. What this does, it makes a lot fatter noodle. And I would consider this uh, kind of like uh, linguine or fettuccine style noodle. This is a fatter noodle, it's a lot thicker. I personally prefer the uh, smaller noodle, but you know, some people may prefer the thicker noodle. So uh, you have three different options when using the slicer. Uh, this very slicer has been featured on the Dr. Oz show, and uh, Dr. Oz you know, promoted this product so that you can eat more, once again, eating your vegetables instead of like highly processed pasta that you have to actually heat up. That's very low in nutrient density. The zucchini that you would spiralize in this is very high in water content, also much higher in nutrients and, and lower in calories than the standard spaghetti or pasta that you would normally buy. The last thing I want to do is I want to share with you guys a few more ways to determine if you actually get the knockoff machine or the real one. The first way is actually to look at the uh, shape of the little blade inserts here. Let's go ahead and pull one of these guys out for you guys. On the blade inserts, I want you guys to look at this uh, really closely here. The real blade uh, insert actually has a nice, like almost half circle, and the imitation ones don't quite have as much a protrusion. It's this protrusion that makes it easy to pull out and easier to handle, whereas this one doesn't have quite a good handle to get as good leverage on it. In addition, the quality of the blades actually may, in fact, also be different. Um, you know, I don't know the, the sharpness exactly, and I'm not going to say one sharper than the other, but basically, you know, the knockoff machines, if the plastic's not as good, the handles break, you know, just comes or think that the, the blades and whatnot aren't going to be as durable either. Another thing you'll notice if you do have the real unit, it'll actually say uh, push right here on the back side uh, where the blades actually snap into. On the knockoff unit here, it does not say push on it. In addition, you know, to me, this plastic just seems a lot more uh, chintzier and not quite as strong. Uh, the rubber feet on the imitation unit are, you know, not maybe as, as grippy as the ones here. They definitely look higher quality on here. And uh, finally, on the uh, real unit, you'll notice it says on the bottom, it's going to say uh, HK reg number, AU reg number, UK reg number, JP reg number, DE reg number, IT reg number, like embossed on the bottom. That's definitely another way you'll know that you got the real machine and not the knockoff. At this time, I can only recommend you guys get the real machine and not the knockoff. Once again, you, you get what you pay for. You want to spend you know, a good amount and get a machine that's going to work durably for you for years instead of break the handle and then guess what? The company's not even around to send you the parts because they're a fly-by-night company just copying these, selling them for a lower price, ripping them off, and then they'll probably get out of the market. So rest assured, if you're buying the 3-in-1 turning slicer at discountjuicers.com, you will get the original. It should work for you for many years. And be sure to check my other video, actually, to learn how to use a three-in-one turning slicer the best way possible for the best results so that you can change the health of yourself and your family by eating more fresh fruits and vegetables. And remember, you wanna visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. This is John Cole with discountjuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you and this is one many of you guys may have been waiting for 
What we're going to do today is we're going to use the all new Slow Star Juicer. I like the Slow Star Juicer for a few reasons. Number one, it's currently the lowest RPM juicer available in the USA. 